Peterson. Welcome to Dragon Tales. Wow, hey buddy, look at that. April 18th right now, last time you guys saw me, it was freezing cold out here, my ears were turning red, and I was dreaming about the monsters that live under the water here at Thoreau Lake. And now as you can see, the birds are out singing, beautiful blue sky, it's warm, and it's time to get our hands on some prehistoric looking turtles. All great stories begin within the pages of a book, and this tale is no different. As a child, my introduction to the snapping turtle came through an old weathered book titled Men of the Mississippi. It was the story of a tiny turtle who spent his life traveling the length of the Mississippi River, eventually growing into an enormous, ancient looking creature. A creature that to any child's imagination was without question a dragon. That's totally me right there. As a little kid catching small snapping turtles, putting them in little cans and keeping them for a couple days totally brings back some crazy memories. And this is perfectly representative of the turtles that live out here in Thoreau Lake and a lot of the snapping turtles that I'm gonna get you up close with on this first season of Dragon Tales. Min's epic voyage ignited a fire of curiosity in my mind and I began researching tales of these enormous turtles. Hours were spent in the library reading old articles, examining aging photographs, absorbing the folklore, and daydreaming about one day having my own white whale encounter. There was no question, snapping turtles had me in the jaws of their legend. As a child I caught many snapping turtles, but it wasn't until a few years ago when my education in video production gave me the chance to start putting my dragon tails in front of a camera. These videos are what led me to Breaking Trail. Look out! It's a big turtle! And it was your love for those animal encounters which has now given me the chance to follow my dream of creating dragon tails. That is the common snapping turtle, and he is about the size of a dinosaur. A series of adventures that follows a trail of mystery and folklore in the hopes of finding a world record snapping turtle. Every time that I come out into the environment, I like to just sit back and absorb it, take it all in. I'm the stranger here right now. I'm not a natural part of this ecosystem, but I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna get close with its animal life. So I like to just absorb myself in the moment, touch the water, feel the mud, become one with everything that I'm about to get into. And it's scary. You guys might wonder what it's like to get on a kayak and jump off into water that's over your head with a giant predatory reptile. Uh, it drives your nerves, that's for sure. A lot of adrenaline and you just hope that the environment releases you when it's all done because you can disappear underneath the water and the mud. Welcome to Thoreau Lake, a thriving ecosystem set within Blendon Woods Metro Park and the place where I've been researching a population of common snapping turtles for the past five years. All right, so right now we're gonna take a little tour around the outside of Thoreau Lake. This is the largest body of water here at Blended Woods Metro Park. And buried down in that water and that mud are some enormous snapping turtles. In total, this body of water is refuge to over 30 of these mud dragons, and I adore each and every one of them. I love these turtles the way you might love your dog, your cat, or your children. I know it sounds odd, maybe even a little crazy, but these turtles are my inspiration for adventure. They are part of my being, and they define who I am. We are proud to call our Columbus Metro Parks home to some of the largest common snapping turtles on record in the United States. But none of them have garnered a celebrity following like that of Cornelius. That's right, he even has his own sign. I think I see a big turtle. People of all ages travel for miles to visit the viewing shelter at Blendon Woods. Binoculars in hand, they peer out across the water in anticipation, hoping to catch a glimpse of this ancient turtle as his massive shadow silently drifts beneath the surface. I think I see Cornelius! He's huge! Ask anyone you know, and I guarantee they have a snapping turtle story. It was as big as a truck tire. Its jaws broke a broomstick in half. It could have sunk my boat if it wanted to. The tails are grand, taller than the trees, and they deserve to be told. 
I always have a good pair of binoculars with me whenever I come out here looking for turtles because this allows me to see these turtles from quite a distance. Uh, you can't catch a snapping turtle if you can't sneak up on it. So what I'm looking for is just a little head or the nose sticking up out of the water. I can spot it with the binoculars, stay completely still, wait for that turtle to submerge back down, and then I go after it. Uh, let's keep moving so that we can get up close with the turtle. The footage you're about to witness is historic in the sense that it is the first time I was ever filmed catching an animal, but more importantly, it is the first time that I ever encountered Cornelius. It was a moment that I would never forget. No other turtle on Thoreau Lake challenges his massive size, bone-crushing power, and timeless wisdom, crowning him king in this muddy realm of dragons. It often takes me days of waiting and searching before I have an encounter, and even then he is nearly impossible to capture. His incredible strength and speed allow him to disappear in the murk like a phantom in the darkness. Now the water is crystal clear. And this is absolutely perfect. And the reason that we look for snapping turtles in the spring is because the plant life hasn't yet grown in. Once those plants grow in, the turtles are incredibly difficult to find. And right now, without any plants on the surface, that's how we're gonna catch these guys. In my many years catching snapping turtles, I've learned that the best way to land a dragon is by sneaking up on them in a kayak. Even that is a challenge, and it's all about being in the right place at exactly the right time especially if I'm hoping to have an encounter with Cornelius. Once the plant life grows in, you can forget about it. At that point, he's nothing more than a myth. Question the legendary turtle named Cornelius that lives here in Thoreau Lake. And he is an absolute dragon. Look at the size of that turtle. He is enormous. He is so big. He was sinking the boat. He pulled me out of the side of the boat. I lost the oar. Nice. And you cannot land a much bigger turtle than this. Hey, buddy. It makes me so happy to see that he is healthy and that he has made it through the winter with no problems. Look at the size of that snapping turtle. That is a massive, massive snapping turtle. Okay, wow. And that is the turtle that is my personal folklore legend. I caught this turtle for the first time five years ago and he nearly brought me down in the sink mud. And here we are today showing him for you on Dragon Tails. This is one of the largest common snapping turtles on record in the United States. Look at the size of his head. It's about the size of a softball. Now uh, you get your hand stuck in the mouth of a snapping turtle like this, you're not gonna be getting your hand back. Look at those claws. Cornelius, can we see your claws? His hand is as big as my hand, and he's got claws about the size of an eagle. And he is angry because he has just woken up for the year to get ready to hunt and look to continue his reign as the king of Thoreau Lake. And you don't get much larger than that for a common snapping turtle. Look at that. Ooh, yeah. Man, and I can always tell that this is Cornelius based on these large ridges that he has on the top of his eyes and this very distinct 
orange beak that you see up front here. Look at the length of the neck there. Now, a snapping turtle can reach about that far, so I know I'm at a safe distance, and I'm just trying to get him to want my hand in his mouth so that you guys can see this prehistoric looking neck. Yes, no biting. No biting, Cornelius, no biting. Nothing makes me more happy every spring than to come out here and catch Cornelius to see that this incredibly prehistoric giant creature is living and thriving here in Thoreau Lake. Uh, it's really important that we get his measurements now to see where he lands on this season's top dragons. All right, hold on a second. I'm going to put him down. Watch your camera back it up there just a little bit. He will go after you. Now, Cornelius may be over 50 pounds, so we're going to use the 100 pound scale at this point. All right, Cornelius, now the part that you really don't like, we're gonna get into the bag. I know, I know, he's done this several times. Now, I know he's not at his top weight right now because it is literally the beginning of spring. And as summer goes on and they eat more fish and more frogs, more snakes, more ducklings, more goslings, he will get bigger and bigger in weight. Right now, I'm guessing he's probably just under 50 pounds. So we're gonna play a little game that's called Dragon in a Bag. In you go there, buddy. I know, I know. Walk it in, walk it in. There we go. All right, here we go. I'm lifting up. All the way off the ground. Wow, there you have it. Cornelius is clocking in at 48 pounds right now. 48 is not bad, though, considering he has just woken up from hibernation. I doubt if he's had much more than a couple of fish meals at this point. But he is an unbelievably healthy common snapping turtle and a true mud dragon. <sighs> One of my best friends. I love you, buddy. I'm so glad that you are safe and sound after that long, grueling winter. Cornelius is the most amazing animal I have ever encountered. He is everything that fascinates me about nature. He defines who I am. He was my first white whale. I love the fact that I got to share him with you, and I hope you enjoyed his company, even if he was a little grumpy. On this first season of Dragon Tales, the crew and I will follow an initial round of stories, all sent to us by people who believe they have encountered their own version of the White Whale. We will bring you their stories. We will travel in their footsteps. We will listen, look, and submerge ourselves in the belief that maybe their eyes have not deceived them. Maybe it is possible that giants do still exist that dragons still slumber beneath the surface, that legends were born to be recognized. All right, so this is one of the top dragons you're gonna see this year on Dragon Tales, my personal folklore legend right here, Cornelius. I'm gonna head off across the eastern half of the United States and see if we can beat Cornelius' 48 pound record. All right, let's get him back in the water. For many years, I believe that Cornelius was the largest turtle in central Ohio until I heard the rumors of a giant that was stalking the waters of Blacklick Woods, another metro park that was no more than 30 minutes away. Next time on Dragon Tales.